Welcome guys, this is Killer here, and today we are going to be playing Undertale. So this is a fun game to play. Um, I haven't played it in a while though. Um, so look, I, I think we're supposed to go this way. What does this sign say? Warning, dog marriage. What? Dog marriage? Okay, uh, the switch is stuck. Oh yeah, because I went through and was doing this early, uh, a little earlier, and I, f I found out that the recording stuff jacked up or something. Ice Cap appears. Jerry came too. All right, so let's um, let's fight them. Ice Cap? Huh? Did they ditch me? Some friends. Jerry sneezed us without covering its nose. And, oh, um, so like, what are you even doing? Tells everyone has to, okay, well, I'll spare you. I, I, I killed your friend, though. Sorry. So yeah, I went through this earlier, and it was messed up. And see, what this is supposed to tell you is how to do it. You go up there and do that, and then you're able to go across. And then, yeah, and I defeated those. And what? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? Oh, the 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 spaghetti. I left it. Really? Wowie! You resisted the flavor of my home cooked pasta just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Hehehehe. <laughs> yeah. Okay, he doesn't usually say that. Oh, yeah, I have to make it a uh, circle and a uh, circle, I think. And there we go. Okay. You have something to say to us. My brother started a sock collection recently. What? How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> okay. Alright. Uh, what are we supposed to do? Human? Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is... Worry not, human. Ah, the great papyrus will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle for the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. In other words, you're not gonna solve it for me. Turn every X into an O. Okay, so oh, this is gonna get complex. Um. We can't walk over it again either, so if you go around like that and... Oh, so I'm trying to think if we go this way like this and we go around and down, then we can go... No, that wouldn't work. Or would it? Alright, I want to try this. Okay, and okay, we've got that part, and that's not gonna work because we have to get this X, don't we? One left, and see, it turns into a triangle. Yep, we messed it up. 
All right, we gotta go here to reset it. I'm afraid this might take me a little while to solve. Okay, so I've tried it a few times and I think I know what to do here. So we've gotta go up and down. Oh God, don't go off. Yeah, I got it. And there we go. Wow, you solved it. And you did it all without my help. Incredible, I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah. So I'm sorry if I don't, it does, if it doesn't seem, hey look, sands. I'm sorry if it doesn't seem like I have good voice acting. Well, I'm not really trying to do voice acting, so. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, cause I love doing absolutely nothing. So I tried to give him like a deep voice. I love the music for these two. Uh, Sans has teleporting powers, so that's why he ended up here so quickly. Hey! It's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles or water tiles swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery, you will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Understand the explanation? Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess, yeah. Great, then there's one last thing. Jeez, what else? What else do you have? This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle. It has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. <laughs> get ready. What? Oh, I'm not going to step on it. Wow. Quite a puzzle there. Oh, why can't we step on it? Okay. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even be up. He'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working. Okay. All right. So, oh look. Oh, who's this? It's a doggy. All right. So that puzzle would seem fairly easy, <laughs> considering that the solution just gave me a clear path. Okay, so, uh, who are you? You a monster? This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Are you a artist? On the floor inside is a box of pomeraisins? Raisin, I think that's what it says, pomeraisins. Aware of dog, please pet dog. Um, I mean, I could pet you. Wait, what's this? It's a cow. That dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It 
probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. Kibble and bits. Knowing that dog Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. Safe. Alright. I think everything fills me with uh, determination. What's this? Oh. Oh, we have to turn it all in it. Oh, I, I fell off. Sands. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. It's a snow papyrus. Okay. So I have to be careful, because this is the ice. Oh crap, I messed it up. Okay. Okay, it resets when I do that. So we'll go down here and oh, there we go. Okay, that was fairly easy. Oh, dang it! I meant to. Okay, I, I almost made it. Okay. So I'm talking about. All right, and no, no, dang it! Why did he just slide past it? He was supposed to stop, and of course I fell off the edge. This is getting a little annoying. Whatever. Ah, oh, messed it up again. Okay, just leave. Okay, probably gonna edit this part out. Okay guys, I just literally spent like 10 minutes trying to do that, that whole thing. So that would have been 10 minutes of your video. Ah, oh, he had a little, had snow on the head. Watch this. I wonder if it's going to be, yeah, okay. So it was on, on the head when they come out. Oh, it's a, it was a bird. Uh, I think, or which way you're supposed to go? Oh, what's this? What a tiny doghouse. Wolf. <laughs> it just says wolf. Oh, there's another. Who are you? Oh, it's a cute little doggy. It's the greater dog. Hey, greater dog. Alright, um, act, greater dog, uh, pet. It's too far away to pet. You just pet the air. Um. Well, we have to avoid his barks. Okay. Greater dog is watching you intently. Um, maybe you want to play? Greater dog is not excited enough to play with. Greater dog is waiting for your command. Oh, he's waiting for my um, command. Call the greater dog. It bounds towards you, flecking slobber into your face. All right, here we go. This is fairly easy. All right, greater dog is seeking affection. All right, play. Greater dog is not. He's seeking affection though. Okay, I accidentally just went over into that. Okay. Um. Mercy, spare. We can't spare him. Why can't we spare you, greater dog? Greater dog is seeking affection. Item, I need, you know, oh, stick. You threw a stick and the dog ran to get it. You played fetch for a while. How am I supposed to avoid that? I'm pretty sure there's something I don't know about this. And most of you guys do. Greater dog. Pet. Greater dog curls up in your lap as it is pet by you. Get so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. 
A gray dog is patting the ground with its front paws. Mercy, spare. There we go. I'm gonna die if I didn't. I was gonna die. Holy crap. Okay. Oh, a greater dog likes me. Oh, he's got his butt in the air. Alright, so, wait. I don't know which way we're supposed to go. We can go this way. There was another path back there. I don't know. I'm gonna go this way. I don't know what was back there. Hey, it's Sans and Papyrus. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Um, well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm, I'm about to activate it now. And eh, nothing's happening. That, uh, doesn't look very activated. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm, I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and I and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too di direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Phew. What are you looking at? This was another decisive decisive victory for Papyrus. Nye he he he. Regular music. I love the music when Sands of Papyrus, when they're, when they show up, like I love the music for that. That's pretty cool. A lot of people said this had a good soundtrack and I'm uh, already starting to believe that. I don't know what my brother is going to do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Blue attacks? He isn't gonna explain anything to me? Welcome to Snowden. Oh, this is nice. Welcome to Snowden Town. Doesn't say town on there though. Shop. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Um. Bye. I, I think Manly has abs on it. Uh, I think I need a cinnamon bun and I, I want a cinnamon bun. Alright, I'm gonna get a few of these. Alright, and I'm gonna get... That's not enough money. Oh, oh. Oh, I spent a bunch of my money on this. No, no. Just looking? Alright. I'm gonna leave now. I, I said no. I exit. Hello, traveler. How can I... Okay. Exit. Oh, bye now. Come again sometime. Yeah, sure will. I'll come again for weapons. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. Oh yeah, I know. It does. I love how Undertale, it's like all happy in some moments and like some moments, it's not so happy. So it's like a mix of emotions. What's in this? Use the box? Yes. Oh, I can put items in it. Okay. I don't, I, I th yeah. You know what, um, how am I supposed to leave out of this? Okay, I, try, I was trying to figure that out in the last video, I think. In. Okay. Can we talk to these dudes? Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? Welcome to Snowed Inn. Aha! And the name of the town's named Snowden, so it's Snowed Inn. That's a pretty good name. 
one night is 80 G uh, leave I, well well feel free to come back anytime crap I didn't know that I could have spent the night and could have gotten my health restored what, what's this this just took me all the way to the end of the town I want to explore some I don't want to do that okay what's the sign don't want to walk to the other side of si side of town try the under snow tunnels they're efficiently laid out yeah they quite are they they are and i already tried that before i read your sign so i didn't really need to read your sign that lady over there something about her disturbs me what lady this lady isn't my little cinnamon just the cutest i don't see oh it's a rabbit i think bun buns are so adorable tee hee Yep, you're weird. I can see why that that one lady was kind of weird. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree like horns. So we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. Yeah, um, so they, now they have just had the start of Christmas. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. Okay. This town doesn't have a mayor. But if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's p politics. Oh, so like Papyrus and Sand's going to tell a fish lady? I've heard this music before. I've seen. I've. Uh, I've. I've heard it. Uh, uh, um. Okay. Uh. Uh. Gr Grilbus. Grilbs said that he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Oh, because he's he he's fire. So if he touched it, it would like kill him. Okay, what's wrong with you? Hmm, isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil, and when you eat it, it passes it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. <laughs> that doesn't even make any sense. The capital's getting pretty crowded, so I've heard they're going to start moving here. Hmm, I don't want to see the, the erasure, erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on, slip onto their butts. Oh, cause it's like snowy here, and they're not going to be used to it. That guy's funny. The jukebox is broken. What kind of bar is this? Grill beast. What kind of bar is this? Uh, without a jukebox working. All right, you okay? Dude, I think you had a little too many drinks. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help. I want new drinks and ha 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 hot guys. Okay, you're weird. Hey, it's the the doggo people. We're sentries, but we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. We love bones. Why don't you just go up to the skeletons and kill them? I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. And, okay. Oh, he farted. <laughs> it's playing poker against itself. Okay. It appears to be losing. It's playing poker against itself, okay. I put out a line for some girls today. Someone told me that there are plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make it out with a fish. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here. Um, alright, we already talked to you about these flowers here. We can't take that. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes trying to forget our modern crisis. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. 
So I'm sorry guys if it seems like right now I'm just going around looking at things, but I like to explore in games. Like I like doing this exploring stuff and reading stuff because it's just interesting to, uh, to know about all this stuff that's going on instead of just playing the story the whole time. I like uh, looking around for things sometimes. We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything. Why be more morose about it? So wait a second. Did the dogs? Okay, okay. This makes me wonder. Did the dogs find up? Uh, did the dogs fall down here from up above? Because they're not a monster. What about all these animals? Like, uh, like. I don't know how all these animals have gotten down here. A bear, rabbit. Or how exactly are they monsters? I'm probably not understanding the story of this. I don't know how they're monsters, though. It's a carefully decorated tree. Some of the presents are addressed from Santa to various locals. It must be Christmas time here. Then, what's up here? Okay, oh, uh, there's a mustache here. Ah, to be young again, the world sure felt boundless. Ah, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Oh, um, uh, let's play monsters and humans. What, uh, is there holes right there? I don't know, it seemed like there were holes. Ooh, ooh, you're strong, aren't you? Look at you. Oh wait, why why exactly is he throwing ice cubes like out that out in the water? I don't know why he's doing that. Okay. Library. Library. Or oh, they can't spell apparently. I don't know. Hey, you're the dude that I fought at the Welcome to the library. Yes, we know the sign is misspelled. Uh, hey, you're the dude I was fighting. Uh, that look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't you? Uh, I forgot the dude's name, but I remember I had to fight with him a few times, I think. Like he would randomly appear. When I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. I kind of read her voice like that because her voice, well, her character kind of sounded like it would be like that. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. I don't know why I'm reading some of their voices weird. Uh, somebody ain't read their mailbox. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk mail. Somebody ain't checking their mailboxes every day. That's a federal law to the underground. Sir, you are going to be fined for that. This mailbox is labeled papyrus. Look inside. Mm, yeah, it's empty. Oh wait, so that's sands. Because Sans never come, remember Sans is lazy, so he never comes and checks the mailbox. <laughs> oh, I like that. <laughs> That's funny right there. Okay. And I think I'm gonna record these. I'm gonna try to at least record these. Uh, every time I play, I'm gonna try to record these at least 40 minutes. At least 40 minutes of gameplay. Or, you know what, let's just say at least... Uh, well, yeah, yeah, whatever. All right, anyways, just uh, never mind what I said. I'll probably just do it as long as I feel like playing. If I, I don't feel like playing anymore, then I'll just stop playing. It's locked from the inside. Okay, hey, there's the ice that that dude, that wolf was throwing. Hmm. Something is weird. What's going on? It's Papyrus. Are we gonna have to fight him? Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. 
feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another puzzle's solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can ha hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall not be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. I'm gonna have to fight Papyrus. Well then. Uh, mercy spare. So, you won't fight. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled blue attack. Oh, okay. Huh. You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm blue. Fight Papyrus. Oh, listen to the music in the background. Behold. Okay, so we just have to go up and then dodge it. Smells like bones. Okay. I, I think we're gonna have to kill him. How high can you jump? Pretty high. Oh, crap. You have to time it right. Oh, I hate this. Papyrus is preparing a bone attack. Um, how do I cancel? Okay, there we go. That's how I cancel. Figured out how to cancel. Uh, I mistimed that majorly. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez. Oh. Okay, I've got it. Oh crap, no. Alright, I'm gonna need the item. Uh, Cinnabon. You eat the cin cinnamon bunny. Your HP was maxed out, good. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. What the? Okay. That was a little fast. Papyrus is considering his options. I have to say, this is probably a, a good fight music in the background. I wonder if we actually have to fight him and, like, kill him. I can almost take my future. Okay. Oh, okay, we can still move. So we can still move around. I thought we just ha we could only go up and down. Oh. No. Uh, rattling his bones. Okay, we almost got him now. Uh, half. Oh, crap. Papyrus is considering his options. Of course he is. Okay. Um. There we go, straight in the middle. Got him with 50. Papyrus, unparalleled -par spaghettidor. Okay. Oh, crap. There we go. Oh, I only had to go up. Papyrus is trying, is trying hard to play it cool. Undyne will be really proud of me. Ah, uh, I, I did that too early. For some reason, I feel like I'm doing bad. Papyrus whip, whispers, Nehehe. Okay. Item, I'm gonna item. I need another Cinnabon. I'm glad I actually kinda bought those. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile.
What? Uh, okay, I think I went over a little bit. The pirate's is cackling. Did you see how uh, big his eyes get? Like, wide, wide and open his eyes get when I hit him? It smells like bones, of course. We're, good. We're doing a lot of uh, damage on him. I have lots of admirers, but... Alright, okay. I'm not doing good. I can tell you that. It smells like... Oh, okay. It keeps just saying... I'm gonna just stop reading that stuff. I don't know uh, why I keep reading it. HP was maxed out. There we go. I only got hit one time. Okay, um... His name will appear. We can't mercy him. So fight him. Someone like you is really rare. Yeah, you never really had to fight anyone. Well, yeah you have. You had to fight humans and capture them. Um let's oh no, I don't wanna do that. Back out. Um mercy, nothing there yet. Okay. And that's fifty. Oh, it's forty eight. I don't think they'll let you go. Oh, that's... Oh, that hurts me? Okay, alright, I need to item again. Eat the cinnamon bunny. Okay. Uh, after you're captured and sent away. Pirates... Okay. Alright, mercy... Nope. Who cares? Give up. Alright, I'm gonna try the spare him. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack. Your special attack doesn't sound too good. All right, I'm gonna have to item. I'm gonna have to uh, use a Cinnabon. All right, almost at full health. All right, virus preparing a bone attack. He's almost dead. Behold, my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack? Hey, you stupid dog. Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack. Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Getting ready for a regular attack. No. I don't need that act. Okay. And just fight him. So I found, yeah, because I found out that you could spare Toriel. So that's why I'm trying to spare him. Okay. Uh, absolutely normal. Oh, crap. That's a little complex there. Are you sure that's a regular attack? Oh, there comes a dog again. What the heck? Okay, is that the end of his attack? Oh no. I hope I survive. Something tells me something bad's gonna happen. Well, huh, it's clear, you can't huh, defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Okay, well, I'm gonna spare him. 
because I didn't really want to kill him. I like Papyrus. He's got a good personality. No. <sighs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you, and Don's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Let's be friends, what a loser. Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess, I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, I have friends. And who knew that all I needed to make them was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? <laughs> yeah, um... Papyrus, you're a little... Papyrus said, that's funny. It's like, he, he's like, um... He thinks because of the stuff that I did is gonna make other people do that? That's funny. It's like a little child, it's like when you tell a child, uh, a small child, it's like, uh... Like when you do something, they're like, "Oh, if, well, if I do that, then he should do that." So, you taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us all underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit, except someone with a powerful soul. Like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. And then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say... Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's not going to do that, Papyrus. I don't think you know him. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and hang out. <laughs> okay, Papyrus. Okay, Papyrus went a little crazy there. Okay. And is it gonna be a save point right here? Okay, this is kinda weird. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, it's sands right here. Alright. Uh, Here's a save point. Uh sound of rushing water fills you with determination. I like how the little small things in this fills the peep fills you with determination. This is an echo flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> uh oh, that's the dude back from the village. I remember you. And Sands. What? Haven't you seen the guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. <laughs> I'm going to Grillby's. Wanna come? Uh, yeah. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here, I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast in at least half an hour. You must be thinking of brunch. <laughs> here, get comfy. He put a whoopee cushion on the seat. Whoops, watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on the seats. Oh, so it wasn't him. It was just somebody in here. Well, I've seen everybody in here before. So, uh, I've talked to everyone. They know who I am. Everyone seems to be, uh, in the same place when I was here, like, a while ago. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? Fries, burger. I, I, burger is good for me, Sans. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Grillby, we'll have a double order of Berg. 
Is it gonna go get an iceberg for a burger? So, what do you think of my brother? Cool. Of course he's cool. You'd be cool too if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only he only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well, at least he washes it. And by that I mean he wears it in the shower. Uh, it's, okay, he actually brought us a burger. I thought he was gonna uh, bring us like an iceberg. Uh, want some ketchup? Yeah. Yeah, I like ketchup. Bon appetit. You tip the ketchup, the cap falls off and all the ketchup in the bottle pours onto your food. Whoops. Eh, forget about it. You can have mine. I'm not hungry anyway. Why'd you get something then? Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries real hard. I like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. One day, he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him be in it. Of course, she shut the door on him because it was at midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him warrior training. It's, uh, still a work in progress. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Yeah? So you know all about it. The echo flower. They're all over the marsh. Say something to them, to them and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting the other day. Sometimes when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. It's Flowey! It's- that- that's Flowey! Who's going around? And he's telling Papyrus th things. That's Flowey. Because he's a talking flower. Well, that was a long break. Can't believe I let you pull me away from work for that long. Oh, by the way, I'm flat broke. Can you foot the bill? It's just 10,000 G. Uh, I don't have that much. Uh, just kidding. Grill me. Put it on my tab. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't think I have that much. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. Unless you just didn't even want to say it to us. Hmm. Alright guys, I'm going to end this video of Undertale here. That was a pretty cool video. I, I like playing this game. This game is fun to play. It has a good story to it. And I know I said that last time, but I really enjoy uh, playing this. And uh, I'm, I was really glad that we were able to save Papyrus instead of killing him. Because I found out that you were able to spare Toriel. And I figured out that the square button exits out of any kind of menu that you go to in this game. So that's uh, why in the Papyrus fight, I was exiting out of things sometimes. I found that out. So you don't have to just select something. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, please slap that like button. Subscribe for more Undertale. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.